So the way you'll know that you might have introduced some sort of disease or some sort of disease came in with your caterpillars is generally they'll stop moving, they'll stop eating, sometimes you'll have dark discoloration that you can see um, on their bodies. Eventually they do die. Um, one of the ways the bacteria get around is they just kind of, they slime out of the caterpillar. If that happens, even if you've got living caterpillars in that cage, assume they've already been contaminated. Um, you can definitely move them to a different cage, but don't be very careful not to spread any of that disease between multiple cages if you have them. Just consider them all quarantined. Most likely they all will die and so once they've all died you either would want to discard that cage completely and not use it again. Um, if it's something like an aquarium you can certainly use it for fish or something else. Um, you can also you know decontaminate with um, the 20% bleach so you just want to clean it really well and then use 20% bleach as a decontamination. I use the 20% bleach just to decontaminate between kind of every generation that I'm using um, my container for. So that's why I would like these kind of plastic or glass containers that are a bit easier to decontaminate. You really can't effectively decontaminate wood. Containers that are kind of wood and screen are much harder to decontaminate and you can have carryover of disease over years. Once these are all done, emerged as monarchs and fly away, I'll remove all the chrysalises, the webbing, clean out the cage and then decontaminate it before I put any of my younger caterpillars into this container. If it seems like your chrysalis has been kind of black and it's been like five days and nothing's happened, um, it could have gotten a disease and died. And in fact, there's a, the OE parasite is, can build up in monarch colonies sometimes. So if you're rearing a lot, so that's why we don't like to have monarchs emerging over the caterpillars because they'll infect those caterpillars. So we want to have the, the, the monarchs emerge and then decontaminate the cage before we put more caterpillars in. If the monarch doesn't want to immediately fly away, that's just fine. Um, if you don't want to stand there with it and wait, oftentimes I'll just transfer it on to some leaves or something of a nearby plant, and then it can take off and fly away when it wants to.